okay in this session let's learn some more operations on the table spaces in the previous session we have created the table space tbs1 maybe i don't like that name so let's rename it to rename it is alter table space table space name and i want to rename it to okay let me call it as tbs2 okay and let me run this you see table space is altered and when i run this command you see the table space now is called tbs2 we have one data file in this table space let's add one more which we already learned in the previous session right let's do one more time alter table space tbs2 add data file i want it to be in this two prod one data and data zero two and i want to start with size 20 yeah okay and let's check it out okay now you see table space 2 has two data files one is 10 mb and the other one is 20 mb now let's remove one data file from the table space tbs2 how do we do that it's alter table space tbs2 it's as easy as drop data file and the data file name okay let me copy that and paste that so table space is altered so now let me select that you see the data file data02.dbf is removed cool right now what if you want to rename this .dbf file instead of data01.dbf you want data10.dbf can we rename a data file yes we can do it okay before we rename a data file we need to put the table space in an offline mode when the table space is in an online mode you cannot rename a data file okay first we need to put the table space in an offline mode and then we need to rename it okay so let's do that so first let's put the table space in a offline mode so for that alter table space tbs2 offline okay now the table space tbs2 is offline mode and now let's rename the data file alter database rename file disk2 prod1 data data01.dbf to slash disk2 prod1 data slash data let me make it as 99 whatever the file name okay dbf expected this error is expected why it clearly says that the database file data99.dbf is not found it makes sense right yes okay let's go here okay where are we we are in disk 2 let's go to prod 1 let's go to data and let's check the files okay here we have data 01.dbf so first let's rename this dot dbf file okay mv data 01.dbf to data 99.dbf okay so i have successfully renamed the data file from data 01.dbf to data 99.dbf now 
let's go and execute this SQL statement copy and let's run this you see database is altered and now when I go and execute this SQL statement you see now TBS2 is pointing to data99.dbf cool right yes what did we do before renaming a data file first we have put the table space in a offline mode when the table space is in offline mode the users cannot insert any data in the table space TBS2 so now let's bring the table space online so for that it is alter table space tbs2 online that's it now the table space tbs2 is online now the users can insert the data as usual okay